now transferring the plutonium batteries. Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomic TV. Today we're going to build this robotic tin can cable car. And then later we're going to try a dangerous experiment involving bin tin stink fly. You don't want to miss it, so stand by for a science toy review. Sir, I got this at Toys R Us in Hong Kong, and if you look at, if you have a Toys R Us near you, or maybe you can shop, you can shop online because nobody's allowed outside yet, right? Uh, this will be in the science section, and and Toys R Us has a pretty nice science section, all kinds of cool things, experiments, and this one looked pretty cool. On the back, it looks like it has a lot of parts, and yet you, you put a tin can on there, and after I do it, I'm going to see if we can't use this to make a uh, steak fly from Big Tin Steak Fly, make it fly across the room. That would be the idea, okay? Well, let's look, let's open it up and see the parts, okay? Come on. Okay, here we go. I'm pulling it out. You're seeing it when I see it. Wow. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. Comes in some directions. You know, wait, wait, wait. Don't be throwing these directions away right away. I would suggest maybe keep them because you know what? There's like uh, six or eight pages of stuff with a lot of writing on it. Look at all this, you know, because this is a big piece of complicated equipment. You don't want to be fooling around. You could, something could go wrong. And look here, I'm going to open this up the bag. There's just a lot of parts in here. <laughs> whoa, 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 look at that, look. There's wires, there's wires. Where's that big motor here? A big motor, you call uh, electric motors, not an engine and more wires and rubber band things and small parts and stickers and big parts and wheels oh man this is going to take a while so just stand by while i put this together i'm going to take this down to our machine shop and we'll start work okay all right just hang on okay it took some effort but i got her done probably the most complicated assemblage i've ever produced they give you some stickers to dress up the can. All right, I didn't do that great with the stickers, so sue me, you know. This uh, function, it has the motors inside here. Turns pretty fast, but by uh, linking pulleys here to these big wheels, it slows down and gives more power from this motor. It slows down the turning so that it turns and it, and it turns a little gear here that matches in with the rope and we'll look over here let's see if it is this still yeah so the motor's in here you got your batteries in here and we're going to loop this rope mechanism through here and the rope is going to go through here and it's going to loop around this wheel here this power wheel here in the middle and then that's going to be it's going to crawl up the rope is how it's going to work see yeah and it works it's going to work yeah it's yeah, and then we're going to try we're, we're going to try something else as well. And when it gets to one end, see, this rod is going to push, and it's going to throw a switch and cause the circuit to flow the opposite direction through the motor so that it turns the wheel the other direction so that it goes back again. Have you ever, has anyone, has anyone ever been on a cable car like this and ridden in what they call the gondola? Have you ever done that? I've ridden in a couple of them. They have them in the U.S. and they have a lot in Europe, in the Alps. And I think even uh, you go places like Singapore and, and China, they also have cable cars like this. Yeah, I, I think I've ridden one in Singapore as well. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, see, let's hook it up and see how it works. So I've got my cable here. I'm going to attach it to one side of my uh, broadcast room here on the wall. And my assistant, Rena, is going to attach the other side to the, all the way across the room to the other side. Rena, be careful. People's lives depend on you. Good. So I've got the uh, cable uh, gear looped into this gear wheel, right? And then these wheels are supposed to guide it. It doesn't quite ride as well as it should on the guide wheels. We'll see how it works. And then I'm going to turn it on. And there it goes. Okay. And it's going back. Go ahead. You can follow it. And it's going back. And there's these little bumpers at the end. 
and they make it the motor shift direction and it's going to go back. Wow, it's working! It's incredible. One more time, it's going to hit the bumper and go back, right? Oh no! Oh. <laughs> so we've got this working cable car thing and I'm wondering if we can use this mechanism to get my Ben 10 Stinkfly toy to fly. Because Stinkfly came with, Stinkfly came with his own cable to slide down, but it's kind of broken. It's no fault of the toy company, Playmates Toys. It's an excellent toy, but I, I think I broke it. I, I'm not always careful when I store my stuff. I throw them in boxes. So Stinkfly, he's got a little hook here, see? So he can hook in there some, uh, a line, a, a, a string, so maybe I can attach Stinkfly here to the cable car mechanism so Stinkfly can fly across the room. We're going to try it. Okay, Rena has attached the Bin 10 Stinkfly to the cable car mechanism. Now let's put him on the cable. Attaching Stinkfly and the cable car to the wire now. Is it going to be stable? Okay. Now, very carefully, Rena, there's the ONOFF switch over here. Very carefully switch it on. Right. Oh, yay. And he goes backwards and forwards. I go, stick fly. He's flying. Fantastic. Stick fly, it's Milgax, fly away, hurry. Yay. Stick fly, it's Hex, look out. Fly away, fly away, it's Hex. Oh, there goes Hex. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you see our problem here. Not enough power, but that's okay. I've got to talk to you about more power. Some of you may know that because of my work in military industrialism, I have contacts with former Soviet, Russian, Soviet Union physicists, and they've been selling me plutonium batteries. Well, now, with the coronavirus thing, these guys are really out of work, and they, I can get these plutonium batteries for a song. So we're going to install the plutonium batteries into the cable car mechanism and see how it works then. Come on. Now transferring the plutonium batteries. Rena, activate the plutonium batteries in five, four, three, two, one. Launch! So like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, Rena. Come on, let's go. <laughs> no. Get your helmet on. <laughs>